Practice nine, day number 10 is complete here at New Orleans Saints training camp. I am Todd Graffinini. This is Aaron Summers. It is the New Orleans Saints training camp report right here on neworleansaints.com. Practice was outside today, but as we record this, it is raining outside, so we figured we'd get out of the Ellen, but they were outside amongst the raindrops at times as well, Aaron, but really a productive practice. We heard from Dennis Allen after who said that they got a lot of work done, especially offensively, he was pleased. Today was the first time that we saw the team go through red zone drills. They spent a lot of time working on you know that close distance to the end zone and pretty successfully as well. And then as you mentioned, the rain started a little bit. So they had an opportunity to do a little wet ball drills. Mm -hmm. And we actually saw kicker Will Lutz kicking during the rain and he was perfect. As he has mostly been the entire camp, Will Lutz now 19 of 20 in his field goal attempts during New Orleans Saints training camp. Now, running back is a position that we've kept an eye on throughout camp. You know the established guys, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram. It's who's going to be that third running back, which has really been a storyline. Tony Jones Jr. had another productive day today. We'll hear from him in just a second, but that has really been something to watch throughout this training camp, Aaron. You mentioned Tony Jones Jr., also Malcolm Brown, a pick up this training camp and then before the training camp started. And then also Abram Smith, an undrafted rookie out of Baylor. All three of them really in that rotation for the third back spot. Tony Jones Jr. going into his third year, his first year here with the Saints. He pretty much spent the entire time on the practice squad last year. He was able to make the 53-man roster, started four games, didn't have any touchdowns, but he really wants to work on his productivity and he wants to get a little more versatile in his game. Actually, he was working in the passing game a little bit today. He had a couple touchdowns, so he's really trying to expand his role on this team. Here's Tony Jones Jr. I've always been a receiver out the back backfield, but nobody just you know, never thought to ask me could I do it. So, uh, so yeah, so now, I mean, like now Coach C sees it, so now I get to show what I can do. And like, you know, like, you know, I just got to keep taking stuff from Mike T's game, from Jarvis game, all of them, and just try to try to put it in my toolbox. Thank you, Tony. Now switching to the rookies that we have watched during camp in the last couple of weeks. Aaron, obviously, Elante Taylor, the defensive back, has been getting a lot of pub, especially the last couple of days. He has been very productive on the practice field. We have seen Trevor Penning mm -hmm. at the offensive tackle, just to name a few. But those are guys that we're going to be keeping an eye on, especially the last couple weeks of camp, when they're going to get those opportunities against other teams. A defensive end Jordan Jackson mm -hmm. actually had a sack today, if they would allow sacks. Right. But he would have definitely gotten one today. He's the rookie out of Air Force. So they're getting a lot of run and a lot of experience here. It's been vital for them to kind of catch up to the NFL game. And Elante Taylor said he's been spending a lot of time talking to Paulson Adebo after practice. And you see him taking the time to talk to different backs. And we've seen different backs after practice talking about noticing his physicality, his speed. He runs a 4-3-6, so he's definitely quick out there on the field. Here's Elante Taylor. Never really thought of it uh, too much. I always just played fast. Um, and, you know, uh, closing on the ball is something that I've always been good at, I feel like. Uh, and then when we come out here, you know, me and Paul, we're always out here before everybody else. And we work on small things like that. Uh, you know, just kind of sharpening those things that are already sharpened and uh, straining those weaknesses that we may have, such as getting it in and out of our breaks 45 degrees each way. Um, I, I would say intellectually, again, he's right along par, right, with Paulson, where he was during that time, right? So again, here we are take, taking a look at a rookie with two weeks going into camp. Relatively speaking, uh, they're very similar in regards to how much football that they can absorb, right, again, and register. So cool part about Again, 27 is is that you know he's played offense, he's played quarterback, he's played wide receiver, right? Again, he steps in well, maybe as a freshman or early on in college, and then he starts as a corner immediately. So like there's a lot of football in that brain, and um, again with his level of intelligence, like there 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 isn't too much that he can't handle. So that that really just becomes more about simplifying the game, locking into specifically about what we're supposed to see, and that's what helps us play faster. So yeah, it, it's it's coming rapidly. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of the New Orleans Saints Training Camp Report. Before we talk about tomorrow, Aaron, who was in attendance today and who was not? 
Well, wide receiver Michael Thomas was back in on the team drills, and he had a couple touchdowns, so he looked pretty good today. Taysom Hill was on the sideline as well as Marcus Davenport for the first time in a while that we've seen him getting some individual work on the side. So good news on both of them. Did not see Marshawn Lattimore, who did leave practice early yesterday. All right, that is going to do it for today. We're going to be right back out there on Saturday, outside, fans in attendance, helmets and shells, but one day less until a much needed day off on Sunday. As always, we'll be out there with you every step of the way. I'm Ty Graffinini. This is Aaron Summers. Thank you so much for watching the New Orleans Saints training camp report right here on NewOrleansSaints.com.